Hey everyone, welcome to a fun, quick lesson, and it's all about showing you the power of raw images. So this is uh, going to be something that you're learning about more in the future with Adobe Lightroom. This is Adobe Lightroom here, and there's an entire section on how to edit photos like a pro in Adobe Lightroom later on in this course, but it's a great way to show you the power of raw. So this is an image that I took in Barcelona, and just to show you what raw can do, I'm going to boost the darks that appear here in the shadows of this tower, and you can see how much information is actually there. Because typically if you shoot JPEG, this is what you're going to get. You're not really going to be able to boost the shadows to get information, but let's just boost these shadows. Again, I'll cover all of this later on. It's like magic. See how much information is in here? It's not very granulated or anything. You get lots of information. So this is how it was originally. It's like practically like I took another picture and exposed more correctly to these towers. But the great thing about Lightroom and RAW is that I couldn't have exposed to the, the towers because if I did that it would have looked like this and the background would have been completely overexposed but instead I have I exposed to the background the Sun and I can just bring up the shadows and the blacks even so that I can see what was in the shadows without overexposing the background so that was a lot of information. We're going to talk a lot about this later on, but I basically hope you get the point that with RAW, you have all this information to really boost the shadows. One other th quick thing I'll show you is, here's a photo I took, let me reset it. So this is a photo I took completely overexposed. This one's almost too bad. I mean, it really is too bad. I would never use this photo for anything. And I actually retook this photo because this was just a photo taken with settings that I had set while I was inside a building but even still I can drop the exposure drop the whites drop the highlights so those are all these bright colors up here so that I have a somewhat somewhat usable photo so if I go from overexposed to somewhat fixed you know it's not perfect but it might be fixable in a pinch and of with most cases you're not going to be doing dealing with that kind of overexposure you'll do till with something like this where I want to get a little bit more information from these clouds so I can drop down the exposure of the highlights and the whites so that I have more details in these clouds okay so that is the power of raw so if you have the option of shooting raw or JPEG and you have the file size in the right size memory card and everything I would definitely suggest shooting in raw thanks for watching and we'll see you later with more Lightroom lessons and right now I'll pass it back to Sam